These next two examples have to do with horizontal and vertical lines. So if I look back here at the table we made about horizontal and vertical lines, it says that horizontal lines all come in the form y equal to some number. Um, you might also remember that for these that means that there are zero x's, so all horizontal lines have a slope of zero. Vertical lines all come in the form x equals some kind of number, and in these um, problems it's impossible to put them into the point slope form since they don't have um, a slope or an intercept. So on these, the slope is undefined. So when we look at these first two examples, they say write the equation of a horizontal line that contains the point negative 5, 11. Well, all horizontal lines come in the form y equals some number. So we're going to start our horizontal line with y equals and then refer to this point to see what it is that y needs to equal. Since 11 is in that spot, our equation of this line is y equals 11. For number 39, they tell us that this line has an undefined slope. So looking back at our chart again, lines that have undefined slopes are vertical lines. So this equation is going to come in the form x equals some kind of number. So we'll start with an x equals, and then look at our point to see what the x value needs to be. Since 6 is in the x spot, our equation for this is just x equals 6. These next two examples ask us to write the equation of a line again, and in the first one we are given a point, and we're told that the line is parallel to this line. And they want our final answer in slope-intercept form. So we have to go back to what we know about parallel lines. Well, parallel lines have the same slope. So since the slope in this problem is 3 fourths, the slope in our equation is also going to be 3 fourths. And then they tell us that it contains the point for negative 2. So since we're given a slope and a point to start with, we'll use the point-slope formula to figure out to start our equation. So here is our x1 and our y1. So we write y minus a negative 2 equals 3 fourths times x minus 4. Simplifying this, I get y plus 2 equals 3 fourths x minus 3 because 4 negative 4 times 3 fourths is going to be a negative 12 fourths, which reduces to 3. Then I just need to look at the final part of the question. They're asking for this to be in slope-intercept form, which means that this 2 needs to go over here and join the 3. So my final answer is y equals 3 fourths x minus 5. In the next problem, I'm also told that the slopes are parallel, and I'm given this equation. Well, since this equation is not in point-slope form, I can't tell, or I'm sorry, in slope-intercept form, I can't tell what the slope of the equation is. So I'm going to do some rearranging on it first to find that slope. So by moving the 2x to the other side, I can get this into slope-intercept form. Now that it's in that form, I can tell that my slope is equal to 2. So knowing the slope and knowing a point, I put it into point-slope form. y minus 2 equals 2 times x minus 5. And then distribute the 2 through. Now they've asked for this equation to be in standard form, so this 2x needs to move to the left side 
and the negative 2 over to the right side. So I'll end up with a 2x plus y equals negative 10 plus 2 because I'm removing 2x's from this side and adding 2 to this side. Combining those like terms, I get negative 2x plus y equals a negative 8. And then I need only one more step to get this in standard form. And that's to get that negative 2 to turn positive. So I'll multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. That gives me a final answer of 2x minus y equals 8.